Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Have you ever looked at your pinky toe and thought, man, my kids are definitely not going to have one of these? While humans will probably take a while to evolve to the weird version of humanoids scientists believe will be, animals are evolving at an alarming rate. And ironically, it's mostly because of us. Today we're covering the top 10 signs animals are getting smarter. Before we start, use those opposable thumbs to leave us a comment, give us a like, and click the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified of brand new uploads. Number 10. Stronger Bed Bugs When I think of animals evolving, I want to picture painting elephants, astronaut chimpanzees, and those animals that will join us on our Mars mission to repopulate. I definitely don't want to think about hyper-resistant bed bugs. However, I've heard somewhere that you can't always get what you want. Or maybe that's a Rolling Stones song. Ah, who really knows? But over the course of history, we've done everything under the sun to get rid of these disgusting small creatures. Little did we know, we're just feeding the fire. Our spraying, fighting, and resisting have just led to bugs with thicker skins. Their nerve cells scoff at our chemicals. Wahahaha! <laughs> their shells roll their eyes at the soles of our shoes. So what can we really do besides sit back and examine their evolution? Number 9. Scared of Mice Along the same lines, we have small vermin that are growing stronger. Warfarin is the type of poison generally used for house mice. Now in Germany, we've discovered super mice. No, they don't put on capes and fight crime or constantly talk about eating hot dogs. They just annoy us much harder. The craziest part? This happened because two different kinds of mice bred and created a super mouse. Like when people shop for the perfect sperm donor with a Harvard degree and an athletic build. Except add to that the refusal to die. German and Spanish mice have rapidly evolved the trait by breeding with an Algerian species, which has created a very strong immunity to most poisons that we currently use. Number 8. Dolphin Interviews this is definitely what I'd like to see in evolving animals. With a system called ELVIS, short for Echolocation Visualization and Interface System, dolphins have learned to answer multiple choice questions, mainly to please their trainers and receive fishy rewards. Only a few dolphins have been trained with this system, but it won't take long before this system is used on a more global scale. Though we're not in any immediate danger, we can't help but think about that Simpsons Halloween episode where dolphins become self-aware and took over the world. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time the Simpsons made an accurate prediction. Number 7. Capuchin Monkeys The world order is in such a strange state that capuchin monkeys can't even live a normal life anymore. Hunt for food in this economy? I don't think so. These adorable monkeys in Brazil have evolved to treat neighboring homes like a corner grocery store, <laughs> minus the cash. While during previous times of low food supply in their forest home, they'd stick it out and, finding other types of food, now they just steal from the nearest friend who gave them food weeks prior. That sounds like a mix of training and evolution. Growing up for generations near other species that feed you and show you care when the environment gets harsh can certainly lead to this coping mechanism. But have they truly evolved to behave this way? Number 6. Growler Bears Bears are a constant example of evolution. During the history of time, they've changed frequently from white to black, from black to brown, and they're at it again. I have to say, the only bear that I find more interesting than the baby polar bear Oh, so cute! Is this hybrid discovered by scientists in 2006 a mix between the polar and the grizzly bear, the growler bear? The growler bear has features from both types of bears, light colored fur, similar size, but has other grizzly features. Though it's certainly an intriguing species, it has most of the frightening aspects of each and none of the adorable aspects of baby polar bears. As we saw before, the huge hybrid creature can actually mate and breed. Number 5. But can they do math? Our next super evolved animal has me beat. This is worse than watching Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader and realizing you're not every time. This time, it's an animal with a tiny brain. 
We know that bees have to have insane instinctual skills because they work as a pack towards the same goal. We can't even do that as a human species. We can barely keep it together in our neighborhood watch, or come on, in our comment section. Bees don't have this problem. They sync up to figure out the shortest route between where they are and where they need to be. They solve computer-worthy problems like it's no big deal. The need comes from having to save energy in order to fulfill their tasks quickly and efficiently. The cool thing about it is that we have no idea how they do it. The mental processes necessary for what they do seem impossible for such a tiny creature. Yet there they are. It makes you wonder, what other tiny animals have we underestimated? Number 4. Koi Wolves Another hybrid of two fierce animals, we have the unfriendly neighborhood coyote crossed with a gray wolf. When people settled in southern Ontario, they accidentally kicked off an evolutionary process that's given us the koi wolf. When the wolf population was reduced by the settling of civilization, coyotes crept into their territory and, not just that, lost fear of each other and started mating. The result of all this canoodling was the koi wolf, bigger, stronger, heavier, faster than any of its predecessors. Number 3. Follow the Mold Here we have a mold called Physarum polycephalum, which is basically the smart kid in the class. Of all the molds, it has shown that it can actually learn patterns. See, scientists put the mold through some cold and other types of environments, and when they stopped, they noticed the mold knew when to collect itself according to the pattern. Now, this memory didn't last long, but the fact that it learned it at all, despite not having a brain, is pretty cool. Other experiments included solving mazes to reach food, which it passed with flying colors, showing actual technique and strategy. The last example of the tests was the most mind-blowing of all. They exposed the mold to a structure that was arranged to look like several cities in Japan, including Tokyo, to see how efficiently it could travel around them. After the experiment was over, the path it created was a doppelganger for Tokyo's very own subway. Google Maps, look out! Mold could be more reliable and would still work when your phone is about out of battery. Number 2. A Perch Porch When you're a people person, you make your house as tidy as possible when people come over. Maybe you buy scented candles or you're one of those people who'll empty a can of Febreze in each room. When you're a plant and you like birds, you just build a nice little perch for them to stand at when they come. This is the case for a flower in South Africa. Its lower location caused it to be frequented by predators that would take advantage of its visitors. After one or two Tweeties had bad luck at the rat's tail flower, others started staying away, which meant they didn't get pollinated and began to die. To survive, it grew a perch just large enough for birds to land on and drink its nectar. It's kind of a love story if you think about it. Number 1. Russian dogs can point you to the M train. Russian men have this reputation for being handymen and able to fix anything. They're street smart and they just get the job done no matter how little they have to work with. Little did we know, the same goes for their canine friends. In fact, their dogs are so smart, they don't even need their owners to go on their Lady and the Tramp-like hot spaghetti dates. With tens of thousands of stray dogs in Moscow, the weak die off and the strong learn how to ride the subway. Perhaps it's the recordings of the names of the stations, the smells, or a mix of it all, who knows. But they own that metro system now, so they should just build another human one. Thanks for watching. Before you watch some more Top 10 Archive videos, be sure to click the subscribe and notifications buttons and leave us your thoughts about which of these evolving creatures you think have the best chance of taking, taking over, over the, the world. world. Oh yeah, and be sure to share this video with everyone you know so they can see your highly intelligent comments. Yeah.